Hello everyone, here we have a Nissan Leaf EVSC. One of my customers sent this unit because it has failed to charge his car. He also mentioned about the fall light. So we have plugged in the charger to the AC main and emulated the charging process of a Nissan Leaf car. You can see the fall light is on. It means there is something wrong inside this charger. To access the internal components and the control board you have to unscrew six screws which is on the back side to access those you have to remove six plastic caps i have removed those caps already i'm going to unscrew the screws and i'm going to take the back cover off so i can check what's inside these chargers are designed for 200 volt and you know our AC moin is slightly over than that. So let's pry it and open. Okay, here you can see the circuitry. On your right hand side you can see the input side and your left hand side output side of the circuit. Here you can see the main fuse, some MOVs, common mood filter, main relays, current sensor and some other components like capacitors, LEDs. The rest of the board is covered by a black color epoxy resin. It's almost impossible to probe other components placed on the motherboard and it's a double side motherboard. So there is no way to probe the other side without damaging the components. So um, I checked for any line to line short circuits on the output side. There is no such a short circuit. So I'm gonna plug the charger back into the AC main and I'm gonna probe to measure the uh, AC voltages in the input side and the output side. Let's measure the input voltage using the multimeter. Mm, it shows 233 volt Let's measure the output side of the main relays and there is no voltage present at the output side and I'm gonna probe the pilot pin as well. Mm, there is no AC voltage present. Okay, now I'm gonna change the dial to the DC voltage on my multimeter and I'm gonna probe the pilot pin. No, it shows minus 11.9 volt which is strange that's not how it should be if it is working properly so I'm gonna use the digital oscilloscope to check the waveform change during the operation of this EVSC okay when it's plugged into AC main it shows 12 volt okay let's see where it end up when it's plugged into the charging port of a car okay we can detect yeah charging it ends up at minus 12 volt according to j1772 standards there if there is minus 12 volt present at the pilot pin it means there is an internal fault in the control board so what i'm going to do now is remove all these wires and uh, cables and i'm gonna take out the control board from this housing and I'm going to install uh, uh, another uh, um, control board into this housing uh, which is capable of drawing 15 amps more than what this charger can do the original can do these original chargers are designed for 200 and 200 volt AC and our AC main is like 230 or maybe slightly over 230 volt if there is a surge voltage or inrush currents or during a lightning strike these charges tend to blow up so it stops working then most of the time we have to replace the motherboard so I have replaced the motherboard let's check the operation okay I have plugged it into the AC main and I'm gonna emulate the charging port of the car let's see okay you can see the pulse and now it's yeah it's charging you can see charging light is on you can see the pulse you can see the output voltage is there so it's working see you again in another video